I'm going to show you one of our floor modules. This one is designed to price those jobs where you need to remove and replace the existing concrete floor. To start the pricing, I need to enter the floor area here in the red cell at the top of the screen. This is 22 metres square. I now need to enter the depth of the existing floor that is being removed or broken out. This is 0.4 linear metres. Then I must tell the programme the depth of the new floor concrete. This will be 0.1 linear metres. Finally, I have to enter the new sub-base depth. This is 0.3 linear metres. By entering these four numbers, the programme has performed many calculations and the removal and replacement of my concrete floor has been priced. But I will now go down the pricing sheet and look at the finer details. I have the insulation for under the floor. If I click on the question mark, I can see a picture if you are not using insulation, you can just deselect it like this, and all the costs for it are removed. I will be using it, so I'll retick the box and bring the information back in. The perimeter insulation and floor bonding have been calculated. If I click on the question mark for the floor bonding, I can see that each tub of floor bonding is set to cover 20 metres square. This is right for me, but if your tub covers a different area, you can change it. The concrete has been worked out. I can see that I will need 3 cubic metres. If I look at the material selection, it is set on concrete oversight 3 cubic metre loads. However, if I knew it would be coming on a 6 metre lorry, I would change my material selection to show this. The programme will take this into account and add in the part load charge that I would incur for the 3 cubic metres I wouldn't be using. Mine is coming on a 3 metre lorry, so I'll just change this back. The waste disposal has been calculated. At the moment it is set on an 8 yard skip and I'll need two of these. If you know that your site has limited access then you can simply click on the question mark and select for example a 4 yard. I can see that I will need three of the 4 yards and I can also see that this will be slightly more expensive. But as an 8 yard won't fit I will be going with this option. That is another great thing about not just this module but all of our modules. It allows me to be prepared right from the start and feel confident and in control of my pricing. All of the totals for the plant, materials, hours, labour and overall totals are shown here along the bottom.